Welcome back to Talk of the Town. We are going to talk a little bit about exterior remodeling as we are hopeful that spring is upon us. And joining us to do that, we've got Paul Vosen, who is the president of Degenhart Home Improvement. Welcome. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Glad to have you. So we've got lots of questions for you. And I want to first get just a little bit of information about Degenhart Home Improvement and what you do and what you can do to help viewers at home. Sure, sure. Um, we are a, an exterior remodeling company. We've been in business since about 1978 the company was formed. And we have four main areas of focus, and that would be roofing, siding, windows, and decks. Okay, so you are going to help our homes look beautiful from the outside, function well, and along those lines I've got some specific questions to ask you about some of these projects that we might be thinking about for our home. So let's talk a little bit about window replacement as sure. one of the services that you provide. Now talk to us about our ability to do that without going through a lead abatement process. What does that look like? Well, the, yeah, and actually the abatement is a little confusing. It's not really an abatement process, but the lead rules do apply to uh, any, ex any remodel on a house that is pr was built in pre-1978. So anything that was built before 1978 has to go through a lead process. Okay. And do the lead rules still apply to siding, too? Is that just for windows? Yes. No, they apply to siding and to windows and to you know any other type of remodeling you may be doing in the house. Okay, how do people go about finding out more about that? Is that something that when we when we call Degenhart to have you come look at these things? I mean, you know the rules and regulations and kind of walk us through that process. Yes, and that's a very good question because nobody ever asks us if we're lead certified. You know, we always have to take the initiative, which is okay. Um, but we the first thing I do is make people aware that if their house was built pre-78, that there are some, you know, lead things that they're going to have to go through and some booklets that they're going to have to read. Okay. So some, there's a lot of information out there that, that consumers need to know when, when they're planning on doing projects to their home, but you come prepared to at least educate where they need to be educated and answer some of those questions as you have that certification. And this is something, of course, let's kind of move on because there's so many topics that are related to winter. And I want to talk to you about ice dams. This okay. is something that, you know, can be a problem for homes. What do we do to prevent those? Any tips for us there? Well, the, the best thing you can do is, is start preparing for the ice dams in the summertime and not when the ice dams are actually there. Um, but there are some wonderful um, ice and water shield products on the market that are available today that can be installed on the roof to prevent those ice dams from leaking into the house. Um, the main cause of ice dams is, is twofold. It's poor attic insulation and lack of proper attic ventilation. So those two things need to be dealt with to eliminate the ice dams. Okay, and talking about sort of preparing in the summer and so on and so forth, Let's talk a little bit about roof replacement. Is that something that we need to do in the summer, or can we do something like that in the winter? Roof re re replacement can be done anytime. I mean, really? we, we do roofs uh, all winter long, and we're doing one right now, right down the street. Um, it's actually a good time to do it. You know, we don't have to worry about the rain. You mm -hmm. know, when we have a roof tore off, we don't have to worry about the landscape and bushes and flowers around the building. So it's a good time to do it is in the winter. Interesting. I wouldn't have guessed that. It's a hard sell, but it's a yeah. good time to do it. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, uh, talking about that and, and possibly doing a project like this in the winter, can you tell me a little bit about like a warranties that you might offer? Yes. It, interestingly enough, the um, you know several years ago, you used to be able to buy 25, 30, 40, 45, 50 lifetime year warranties mm -hmm. on shingles. Now, all of the manufacturers have gone to a limited lifetime warranty shingle. So every time you buy an architectural shingle, it is a limited lifetime warranty shingle. Wow. Yeah, okay. it's really nice. Some great warranties and, you know, lots of great information for us in terms of what you can provide and, and some good tips for us. So plan a little bit ahead. Sometimes in the summer, we need to start thinking about some of these winter issues, but we can get a new roof in the winter. I didn't know that. And Absolutely. Uh, you guys are, are certainly the experts in exterior remodeling, so we appreciate your expertise. I wish we had more time to ask you more questions, but uh, thank you for the information that you provided us, and check them out, Degenhart 
home improvement for all your exterior needs. Thanks again for having me. Thanks, Paul. We appreciate yep. it. After the break, we're going to learn about a new fitness trend coming up. It is hula hooping. You'll find out more coming up next.